Welcome to the InDesign Secrets video podcast, episode 11, making page one a left-hand page. I'm Anne-Marie Concepcion, and I'm here along with my co-host, David Blattner. Hello. Um, you know, in our collection of frequently asked questions that people send in to us, one keeps bobbing to the top. How do I make page one, you know, the first page of this document, a left-hand page? So that's what we're going to talk about today. It's a puzzlement. It is. <laughs> it I think is. one of the one of the fastest and easiest ways is just to change the starting page number to an even number, right? So you can change the starting page number by um, going to numbering and section options for that page one. To me, one of the fastest ways is just to double click on this little triangle above the page icon in the pages panel which opens up numbering and section options. You can also right-click on the page and choose it from the contextual menu. It's available in other places. Anyway, you just change the starting page number to, say, number 2 or 4 or 16 or any other <laughs> even page number, and then, boom, there you go. It starts on the left. Isn't that great? It's as simple as that. But the problem is sometimes you actually do want it to start on a page 1. You want page yeah. 1 to be a left-hand page. So there's mm -hmm. two other options that you have for doing that. Let's go ahead and undo that. Yep, great. Uh, one way is to um, to add a new page. I'll just come up here to the Pages panel. I'm going to say Insert Pages, and I'm going to say imper Insert Page 1 before Page 1. So that adds a new page at the beginning. And you can mm -hmm. see that right down here on the Document Pages or in the Pages panel, we now have our spread stuck together, Pages 2 and 3. But remember, we want Page 1 to be a left-hand page. So the key to this is to go to the Flyout menu inside the Pages panel and turn off this very weird weirdly named feature, <laughs> Allow Document Pages to Shuffle. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's a very, you know, very obscure and strange feature, but it allows magic to happen because when we turn that off, InDesign will stop moving pages around. It'll stop shuffling pages when we add or remove them. Now right. I can select page one and simply delete it. You'll see that it won't reshuffle mm -hmm. the pages, so page one stays on the left-hand side of the spine. Mm-hmm. That's very cool. So, and then there's one other way that we know of. Yeah. So I'm going to undo that. Great. And let's, let's keep undoing. I'm going to undo. Keep all undoing way until yep. we start from the very beginning. Great. Uh, again, we're going to go back to that mysterious command uh, in the Pages panel menu. We're going to turn off Allow Document Pages to Shuffle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we're going to do this interesting little maneuver. We're just going to drag Page One to the left of the spine. Now, do you see that vertical bar appear? When you see that appear, release the mouse button. Oh, we need to move it a little further over. There we yeah. go. Hang on a minute. There you go. There, go. there you go. You know, you and have the it, hands of a surgeon <laughs> to, do, to do this maneuver, you know, moving right. things around very little by little. And now we could just drag page two over to the right of page one, again, looking for that vertical black bar to appear. Yep, yep, yep. Oops. Oh, and it went a little too far. Again, the hands of a surgeon. Let me try right. it on this end here. I'm going to drag end. page two up uh -huh. until it's to the right of the spine, and you, I get mm -hmm. a, a solid, uh, thick black bar. Let go. There we well, go. That's what I had. <laughs> I think true. maybe I had too much coffee this morning, and my hand was jittering as I let go I of the I think that's button. what it was. I think that's what but it yeah. was. So there we, now we have the magic of page one on the left, page two on the right. Why we can't just say we want the first page to be left-facing page numbered one, I don't know. I don't it's a good know. feature request, though. It would be nice. You know, this is useful in all kinds of ways. You know, if you're doing a book and you want the opening page of a chapter to be on the left-hand page, uh, mm -hmm. you're going to want to use one of these techniques. If you're doing, like in this case, we've got a magazine spread. I'm working just on the spread uh, right. and not, not, the, uh, not the other pages. This is useful for that as well. I, now, I, I hear from clients they want this a lot when they're doing like a four or eight or 16-page newsletter, uh -huh. and they want to, you know, instead of the front cover being page one and the uh, back cover being page 16, they want them next to each other because they want to see them right next to each other. And they, that's how they want to print them. So that's also good use for it. Well, yeah, you know, but I'm, I'm going to argue against that. I'm going to undo this uh, all the way to go back to where, where we were originally. Um, okay. I'm going to pretend that this is the f first page and the last page of, my, uh, of, a, of a magazine, let's say, or a newsletter. I'm going to uh -huh. argue that you should not, in most cases, put those together in a spread like we've been doing. And the reason is, is 
it's generally better to have your, your InDesign document be in the flow, the chronological flow from page mm-hmm. 1 to 2 to 3 and so on, and not try and do any kind of imposition, you know, not try and put it together in printer spreads. If you're but going if to you're doing meeting, your own four-page newsletter and you're printing out page 1 and then flipping it over and printing out the, printing out the outside then printing out the inside, What's wrong with putting them next to each other? Well, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that I find it less helpful than laying it out in pages 1, 2, 3, 4, and then going to the file menu and choosing print booklet. Print booklet is really what that's about. That's imposition. Yeah, but see, with print booklet, you don't see the covers next to each other so that you can design the front and the back cover as one unit. You don't get that visual cue. I mean, you have to have them design and sort of imagine what they'd look like next to each other as your readers are going to be looking at it. Well, but the readers aren't going to be looking at page uh, the front of your newsletter and the back page of your newsletter together because it's folded over. Okay, we're going we're gonna to argue all day about this, but suffice it to say, there's more I than way with you, right, right. Right. I do agree with you that uh, in general, it's better just to let InDesign do the work, and print booklet is the answer to do that kind of imposition. But ultimately, the choice is yours out there in mm-hmm. InDesign land. You can choose whether you want to do it one way or the other, now that you know how to put page one on the left-hand side. That's right. And we showed you three different ways, and you can always rewind and review if you'd like. Well, that's it for Episode 11, and be sure to check out our show notes on our blog and in the new InDesign forums at InDesignSecrets.com. We'd love to hear what you thought of this show. Leave a comment in the show notes or email us at info at InDesignSecrets.com. And, you know, I also want to say a thank you to our new intro designer. Yes, Sean Right, Lanyon. to Sean. Sean thank Lanyon. you, Sean, Le- Sean, for creating this amazing uh, intro and outro. Yeah, <laughs> for our video cast. And until we meet again, this is Anne-Marie Concepcion and David Blattner for InDesign Secrets. <laughs>